Uh, and truly, it's about really figuring out what parts are working and, and what part needs to be strengthened. So I think of this as a gym for your brain. So if we understand the concept of neuroplasticity, which some people might not be familiar with, but it's really the brain's malleability, which means the brain's ability to learn and change and grow. The beauty of neurofeedback is that it's you're literally training your brain to get stronger in those targeted areas, like going to the gym for your muscles. The only thing greater about that with the neurofeedback is that once the brain learns something through repetition, it tends to hold on to it. So we have low impact, what look like video games, video programs or training programs that we develop into a training plan, like a 30 minute training plan that is targeting those areas that we have found in the assessment. And so by doing 20 of those sessions, two or three times a week, 30 minute sessions, then we come back after that and we rerun those assessments to be able Mm -hmm. to have the evidence based data. Like this is your beginning point. This is where you are after 10 hours or 20 sessions. These are the areas that have improved. Maybe these are some of the remaining areas that could be strengthened some more. What would you like to do? Well, this is brain processes. So we have a sensor that goes on your scalp that's measuring brain waves. And by seeing nearly instantaneous data about how your brain's responding, and going through the identified training programs, the protocols that we have, you literally can impact the way your brain is learning. And by allowing your brain to just learn this process, then it gets stronger and stronger. And I've had people come back years later, uh, cases of really significant impact in their lives from trauma and all different kinds of things that can happen to people And they'll come back and they'll just say, I want you to know it's been five years and I just keep getting better and better and better. And I learned that from my days at the VA in Wisconsin is really Mm -hmm. what that PTSD looked like in people. And I see it now in children and I see it in adults and I, of course, see it in military folks. Uh, But when that gets hardwired in, it's really hard to get that released within the brain without some type of proper intervention. And neurofeedback seems to be just a beautiful way to tackle that. 